The JLT handicap hurdle is next is a 3 mile 1 furlong, 0 to 120 handicap hurdle. Hot Springs Unknown, Vinnie Gerard, Barley Notes, James Shane, Labrator, Darren Thompson, Large Reality, Jim Murray, Control Freak, Graham Clutterbuck, Jimmy Hatz, Alex Cherry, City Carnival, Jim Murray, Blakeney, Sally Adamal, Tunisia and Orange Cassidy for Matt Cooper and Bobbly Breeze for Alex Cherry. A field of 11. And this one then, long distance hurdle. And away they go. Short run to the first. And they're all safely over with Control Freak in front. That's in the winning post then with a couple of circuits ahead of them. And Control Freak is in front from Blake and his Sally right over on the far side. In second, City Cardinal down this near side is third. Labrita fourth. The second Jim Murray horse then is Large Reality. That one's fifth. And the two horses in similar colours racing together. That's Tunisia and Orange Cassidy. Or Matt Cooper. Yeah, the person who's got two is Alex Cherry. He's got two in it. And Jimmy Hatz is the grey at the back. His other one is Bubbly Breeze. He's just ahead of Hot Springs Unknown. Or Vinnie Gerald as they get over the second. Or safely over that one. With Blake near Sally now clearing the lead by two lengths. To Control Freak in second. City Carnival third. And Barley Notes on the outside. Probably just showing fourth. And Labrita and Large Reality. Bit of a gap then. Or a length or so to or two lengths to Tunisia and Orange Cassidy. Bubbly Breeze, Hot Springs Unknown. And Jimmy Hatz the Grey just about last at the moment. When they get over the third. Take nicely. Like this, Sally continuing to lead up the hill. All right, of all. Barley notes move through into second. Labrita is third. And Control Freak just been doing a bit of a breather on the inside. Possibly a bit early in the race to be getting a breather, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Blake this Sally is in front. They get over the fourth. Also, over the fourth. And these three double-handed trainers horses are running close to each other, if you know what I mean. Jim Murray's two are together, Matt Cooper's two are together, and Alex Cherry's two are together as well. And it's Blakeney Sally who's in the lead, leading by four. The Labrator in second. Obviously, one of Darren Thompson's lesser horses, we're in a 0-120. And they get to the fifth. Sally in front, Labrator second, Barley Notes third, and Large Reality is fourth, Control Freak fifth, and City Carnival is dropped back a bit, Orange Cassidy's after that, then Jimmy Hatz on the outside of Hot Springs Unknown, and finally Tunisia and Bubbly Breeze as they get over the sixth of the 13, they've got to take it all, they're heading back towards the grandstands again now. Blakeney Sally continuing to lead by a good three to four lengths. They get over the seventh. And all safely over that. Blakeney Sally in front. Labrator is in second. Then comes Barley Notes in third. Large Reality is fourth. Then Control Freak is after that one. City Carnival is next. And Orange Cassidy. Hot Springs Unknown. Tunisia. Jimmy Hatz and Bubbly Breeze are racing uphill in past the enclosures and heading out to the back part of the track on Presbury Park. They've got a complete circuit ahead of them. Blakeney Sally is three lengths clear of Labrator in second. Barley Notes back in third. Large Reality four, Control Freak five, and City Carnival six. Then Orange Cassidy, Tunisia. Hot Springs Unknown is next, and then. Jimmy Hatz and Bubbly Breeze at the back as they take number eight. All still in contention. The back mark is only a dozen lengths off the lead. They're racing down towards the final mile. And Blakeney Sally is leading by three quarters of a length. To Labrator in second. In comes City Carnival and Barley Notes. Tunisia has made some. Good looking ground as they get over that one. Tunisia took that really well and has now come through to 
Almost challenged for the lead with City Carnival as Blakeney Sally just comes under a bit of pressure, but the field is now really beginning to bunch. There's only eight lengths first to last, I would say, now. And Tunisia on the outside might be just in front, but Labrata and Blakeney Sally on the inside, and then City Carnival. There's four of them versed in a line as they take the tenth. Oh, safely over that, and now the field is separated by no more than six lengths with three to get over and Blakeney Sally and Tunisia from City Carnival on Labrator just tucked in behind them Barley Notes is going to look for a run up the inside Orange Cassidy is coming around the outside also Jimmy Hatz is trying to run wide as well but there are plenty of chances now the Vinnie Gerard was Hot Springs Unknown the top weight is starting to come through as well and also look at this bubbly breeze bursting through as they take the third last but then run straight through the hurdle and Jimmy Hatz has gone up the back so it's now City Carnival and Tunisia in front from Blakeney Sally who's in third then comes Bubbly Breeze Labrita is now starting to struggle but it's Tunisia and City Carnival who are clear with two to go this is the second last over it they go they land together over it in third is Bubbly Breeze Labrita is now starting to run on again then comes Control Freak after that one but it's still just City Carnival and Tunisia City Carnival and Tunisia they can't be split at the moment they're racing towards the final flight in third place is Bubbly Breeze it's probably going to be between these three as they come down towards the final flight. It's just Tunisia poking its head in front. Tunisia lands in the lead and the inside City Carnival now come with a long big run on the outside. It's Hot Springs Unknown, but it's Tunisia who's hanging on and Tunisia's gonna take it. Tunisia wins it City Carnival second. Hot Springs Unknown third then after that one was Control Freak. And Tunisia for Matt Cooper held off the challenge of City Carnival oh, I think Matt was saying in the forums today that he didn't think he was going to get as many winners as he got last season well, you know when you want to take too much notice of the first three weeks, that's when you pick up last year, I did absolutely awful first few weeks and ended up having the best season I'd had so, this could be your turning point, so Tunisia for Matt Cooper the winner, City Carnival second for Jim Murray Hot Springs Unknown for Nigeria third Bubbly Breeze for Alex Cherry fourth and Control Freak for Graham Clitterbock was fifth